What's up guys, Shahid here. Today I'm going to show you Adobe's new AI-based masking feature. Adobe recently rolled out the latest update for Lightroom and added two new options that takes masking to the next level, allowing us to select subjects in both the foreground and background with just a single click. So all you need to do is bring the photo you want to edit into Lightroom and on the top right corner, click on masking and then click select subject. Now Lightroom's AI and machine learning will automatically detect the subject and highlight it, allowing you to easily manipulate just the subject without affecting anything in the background. In this case, I just want to make changes to the background. So all I need to do is just select the invert option, which inverts the mask, selecting everything else except the subject. From here, I can make changes to the exposure or highlights or shadows and in this case i'm just going to bring down the temperature more towards blue to get a more cooler tone and then tint slightly towards green now if there is a portion that you don't want to be part of your selection you can simply go to the mask click subtract and then the brush tool and then simply draw over the area you want to exclude from your selection Similarly, the Select Sky option automatically selects the sky, allowing you to make changes in just the sky. From here, I can make changes to the exposure or highlights or shadows or anything else. Now, in this case, since the water is also blue, in order to match the tone of the water with the sky, just add another mask by clicking Create New Mask and select Color Range. Click on the blue area and now you can see that it has selected all the areas that were in blue. Now, since we have already made changes to the sky and don't want to include that in our selection, we simply subtract that by clicking Subtract and select Sky. This removes the sky from the mask and we just match the tone of the water with the sky. That's it from me. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe for more photography and cinematography related content. Thank you for watching.